Hello party people and welcome. It's Star Danielle. If you like good food, good mukbangs and cute girls, then stick around. Today I'm doing some sushi and ramen. I got some mini veggie egg rolls in the bite ground over here. Um, this is gin ramen, the spicy kind. This is a lobster tempura roll. It's deep fried lobster and with rice on the outside. Of course, you got to have the original Dundada, that spicy tuna roll. And this is a called Super Tears. And it has tuna, salmon, no, it has tuna, crab meat, salmon on the top, and um, this hot sauce. I don't know if it's like sriracha, but we're going to see. So let's get into these groceries. Everybody has to eat. And I have some soy sauce. Some soy sauce and um, wasabi for my sushi. <laughs> mm. mm -mm -mm. Drop this up already, and this is hot mustard for you know my egg rolls when I you know get into it. But how are you all today? It's a beautiful, beautiful day, but it's cold. Oh, that spice in my throat. Mm. The ramen is so good. Let me get into this um, deep fried tuna roll. I'm not going to put any sauce on it. Mmm, mmm. This is deep fried lobster tail. Mm. It has some crunch inside too. The you know the crunch that they put on the outside of the um sushi rolls, and it has like a kind of like a sweet sauce to it. That's really good. I'm gonna dip it this time though. Mm, that's so good. Mm -mm. I love gin ramen. Let's, ow, so good. I'm going to put this sauce right here. I want y'all to be able to see it. I want y'all to be able to see me dip. I'm just gonna put it back here. I can slide it back. Slide my noodles back. See how I can see. I'm gonna use my chopsticks to get it out because I don't have a spoon. What kind of sauce do y'all put on your egg rolls? Are y'all soy sauce people? Are you no sauce people? Duck sauce people? Oof. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this on this egg roll. I love hot mustard. These are just like little mini egg rolls. Mm. I cook my ramen. A little bit differently. In the package directions. This is spicy tuna. Mm. I got this from a a sushi 
restaurant called Umi. It's U M I. Mm, everything's so good. I'm looking at the super tiers. I'm like, I'm trying to brace myself for the super tiers. That's how it looks. All right, that's sriracha. I got a little heat, not serious. Pickle ginger. Mm. But, um, like for my ramen, of course, I boil the noodles separately. For gin ramen, they ask you to put the seasoning pack in with the noodles as you boil them. It's like the little difference between um, gin ramen and the regular ramen. Shen Ramen does that too. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This lobster roll. What's that? Mm -mm -mm. That stuff really is good. Peach punch. Got mini choco. So for my my ramen, I boil the noodles in the pot. Then I did a separate bowl. I pour the packet, the seasoning pack in the bowl. I do like maybe a teaspoon of peanut butter, just regular peanut butter. Um, like two two cloves of fresh garlic in the same bowl. Some soy sauce. What did I do? Yeah, and some soy sauce. I get hot boiling water. And I pour over that. Make sure it'll, the hot water will melt the peanut butter. And, you know, let's have everything come together. You don't need a lot of water. So if you're doing just one pack of ramen, you'll put like maybe like a half a cup of water. And then I cook my noodles. If the pack says three minutes, I was cooking like two minutes in the water. Because you're going to keep cooking them when you do the sauce. So I strain my noodles. Then I put the pot back on the stove. I get like some, just like a, um, a very mild tasting oil you do vegetable oil um canola peanut i mean i would recognize recommend olive oil because it'll change the taste but you can put the oil in the pan turn your stove up then put the noodles back in and then you put the sauce on top and you're cooking it at a very high temperature, and you're tossing it around, and the noodles are going to start getting, like, they're going to absorb that um, sauce, and the garlic's going to start cooking, and then it's going to get, like, a little sticky because of the peanut butter, and you want to get some good color on your noodles. I don't know if y'all can see. I had to drop all that in there. I can see, like, that little brown crunch, kind of. Mm -hmm. Love it. And then at the end, I take a little sesame oil, just a little, because it's very overpowering. And just do a little drizzle of the sesame oil at the end and just toss it around. Mm, that's good.
I mean, that's how you take your noodles up a notch. All these rolls, these rolls are raw. And the lobster one is the only one that's um, deep fried or cooked. A lot of people don't like sushi because they can't get past like the raw fish. <laughs> You know, it's not for everybody. But I like sushi. I think the first sushi I had was like the, was it the California roll? What everybody gets when they're here to eat sushi. I don't know when I had like my first like raw sushi roll. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do y'all eat sushi? Have you tried sushi? If you haven't tried it, are you open to try it? I go to um, rock and roll sushi too. And Publix has sushi. This is my first time trying this place, by the way. I was going to go to Publix and get sushi. I was like, you know what? Let me go to a sushi house. And this is my first time trying this place. And when I went in, it was like a whole hibachi setup. Making a mess. I said I wanted to come back or go back and have dinner. Mm -mm -mm. I do not need to eat all this ramen. <sighs> Have y'all seen this show? Uh, sex life it's on Netflix it has two seasons the second season just started not too long ago but <clears throat> it's about this woman who's married picture perfect life got the perfect um, family to kiddos a loving husband who's successful in business she she is a college professor her and her husband been married for like nine years no but together nine years were married for eight years together for nine and she's a writer, like on um collegiate level. I think she writes about like relationships or whatever. So she started like writing about her old dude she used to have and how she can't stop thinking about him. Excuse me. It was the love of her life. And they used to have a bit of sex and You know, they broke up, 
she got with her husband, he got married, they got married. But these feelings for him and these urges for him just keep bubbling up, honey. She cannot, she can't get rid of it. So they started, you know, like her husband had found, because she types and stuff. So he had found um, her writing about the guy. So, you know, of course her writing is like how much fun they used to have, how good the sex was, blah, blah, blah. And her husband was like a quote unquote good guy. You know, they call it just everything right. And her ex was like, he was like in the music business. He was like, he was edgy and, you know, like that bad boy type. But her husband was such a good dude. He was handsome. You know, he was in shape. Like I said, he was successful, good father, good husband. He just, you know, just tried to be that guy, but it wasn't enough for her. All through that show, I was... <laughs> All through that show, the first and second season, I just be like, no girl, don't do that. Girl, you tripping. Oh my gosh, what's she doing? What's she think This girl crazy. But the guy was the love of her life. And when you subdue things and press them down, they're always going to come back to the surface. No matter what it is. And that's what it was for her. She could not get that monkey off her back, girl. But I ain't gonna tell y'all what happened. It's Sex Life on Netflix. And don't it. it ain't no kids show because they be hunching a lot in this show. But anyway, thank you for joining me today. If you are not a party people or a person of the party, go ahead and check out some more of my videos. And if you are, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell on so you know when I upload. Leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up and share this info. Info. Video. And I will see you in the next one. I'm supposed to go make a cheesecake. Banana pudding cheesecake. And I said this in my previous video. Girl, I ain't did it yet. Bye.